Good afternoon. So today we're doing a First Amendment audit of the California Department of Corrections Parole Services uh, over here and covers uh, the city of El Monte, the cities of Santa Fe Springs, and uh, parts of Long Beach. Uh, as you guys know from my previous videos, um, my LA County Sheriff's and my Federal Department of Corrections uh, videos went pretty well. Uh, no problems, they passed. So here today, we're now over here at Parole Services for the State of California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitative Services. Uh, let's see how they, how they do today. Um, I watched a video this morning from High Desert Community Watch which um, they came out in a truck like a gang and jumping out and raiding them like they thought there was something special. Here on the sign, State of California Department of Corrections Division of Adult Parole Operations. At 9900 Baldwin Place, the city of El Monte. There's Old Glory and the Bear proudly waving. I'm assuming that those are offices windows there. It's got a nice quiet street in Industrial Park just off the 10 freeway. That is someone's office there. I can see the windows blinds are up. So it's a little bit afternoon, sometime between 12 and 1 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, glory. And the bear flag from the bear revolt, flapping in the wind. See their unmarked vehicles there. Uh, they don't have exempt plates because you know they actually work uh, so that people can't spot them. But there's a couple there. There's one off there into the distance. One right in front of us. It's a quiet afternoon. Here, five minutes. 
doing a First Amendment audit check. Seeing that the California Department of Corrections of Parole Services respects the First Amendment right to videotape in public from a public sidewalk public officials for the performance of their duty. Thankfully, the Department of Corrections has uh, some shade trees on their property, and I don't have to stand out in the sun like before. Some of the other places that have no uh, no no shade. Well, there seems to be a parole agent coming out of the officer's entrance right there. I'm doing fine, how are you doing? What's going on? Are you an officer? Yes, sir. How are you doing today? Pretty good, sir. What's going on? Now I'm just filming. For what? For my own personal reasons. Oh, okay. Are you on parole? Is that any of your fucking business? Is, uh, I don't yeah. think that's any of your fucking business, is yeah, it? Pro agent that they, they, they need I don't think that's no? any of your fucking business. No, I'm just asking. That's it. I don't are think you, that's any you of your parole? fucking business. Okay. Do you ask anybody on this random street if they're on parole? Nobody else is recording, sir. So yeah, asking. this is my First Amendment constitutional oh, right to per, to uh, film in public. I, I, I was just asking. Okay, that's fine.
Well, I am kind of jealous of his beard. It's a lot thicker than mine. Well, you see they do that nice intimidation. Are you on parole? Because if I'm on parole, somehow that gives them the right to stop me on the streets. So I'm not sure if that's a pass or a fail. Obviously, I'll let you guys decide that one. That's open to public opinion. See, if I was a parolee, I couldn't talk to him that way. He'd have handcuffed me, just threw me back in, inside of prison for six months or so for insubordination or, or being a threat to parole staff. But I'm not on parole. So these are. Uh, these parole agents and corrections officers in California, at least on the CDC level, they do have limited peace officer status in the performance of their duties. Uh, I was on a public sidewalk and I'm not on parole, so his contact with me was not part of his duties. Yeah, his beard, you know, you guys haven't seen my beard yet, uh, but uh, I must say his beard is much thicker than mine, so maybe I get upset, a little jealousy of his, uh, his definitely thick beard. Or not. Maybe I just don't like people accusing me of being on parole. It's a great uh, intimidation tactic of theirs. It's also a way to shut you up. If I had been on parole, he'd have had me in handcuffs. Of course, he doesn't know. I could still be on parole, right? I'm not, though. But it doesn't matter if I don't or not. Parolees still have First Amendment rights. They still have the right to record. But, of course, they would deny him those rights. That's their back door, their secret hidden door back there. Let's see what kind of car our taxpayers are paying for. Let's see the, we'll see if he's driving his personal vehicle or a state vehicle. If he has a state vehicle, I wonder if he takes it home. Are we paying for his gas? And if it's his personal vehicle, how much are we paying this guy? Ah, oh, here you go. I'm back inside. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me.
pretty nondescript building. Nothing really to give it away besides the flags, but even that, people might pass it by and not even realize it. One contact. I think I was here like not even 10 minutes. And he wants to know if I'm on parole. That's the 10 freeway over there in the background. Me personally, I think this is a fail, but I'm going to let you guys decide. Definitely not a good pass. Asking the random person on the sidewalk if they're on parole seems a bit uh, shady to me. And if I had been on parole, what would you have done? More than likely, to slap handcuffs on me throw me in jail
going on 21 minutes nothing beyond the initial contact with the bearded guy So I've seen a lot of people come out that door and go to their cars, go back inside. That must be the uh, parole agents or parole officers' uh, point of entry and close. The door he came out was the front door, which I'm assuming is the public entry, which is there. We're at 23 minutes, 23 and a half minutes. I guess beyond the initial call, we are going to call, I'm going to personally call this uh, a questionable. I'll let you guys decide if that was a pass or fail.